what is up guys this is PNT gaming and we're back to another video and um, today I've got a little bit of a problem uh, I've been playing I've been facing a lot of executioners elite and uh, elite uh, not elite barbarians um, well I'm, I've been facing them as well but executioners and electro wizards has been killing me and um, this is the only deck I've so far I have I've been actually managed to compete against it so let's just show you this replay so we've got the ice golem we have the tombstone we have the archers zap wizard freeze graveyard and a bowler so as you can see he's got his executioner he's a level two only but that's good enough to actually do a lot of damage so i'm going to put my archers because i don't know what to do i don't know how to counter it and i think i found a solution so i've put, put my archers and put my wizard down uh, which is going to be perfect. He's going to miss. Uh, he's going to fireball my wizard, but miss the tombstone. And we got a bowler wizard uh, push coming on the right hand side with some skeletons to support that. He's going to zap my wizard. That's okay. We're not doing too too bad. At the moment, we're sort of uh, equal on damage. And as you can see, I put my ice golem down. We got a lot of skeletons to come down, and we have a graveyard spell which is going to come out of nowhere. And look at this. The skeletons going to do a ton of damage. They're going to take a lot of uh, the skeleton army. Uh, I, sh I don't even need to zap, I think, but, you know, his, his tower is down to a lot, down to 408, and uh, we're doing really well, I think. So, he's got his Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard, I think, is so strong. Um, people don't use it, use him as much for some reason, but I think it's so strong. I want to get him as soon as I can, uh, hopefully soon. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm, I've got my archers. He's got his Executioner, and that, that Executioner is just going to ruin my archers just like that, and my Ice Golem as well. And again, we just need to start again and sort of uh, push again. Um, he's got his executioner. We got a bowler down. Uh, the bo I thought the bowler is going to take out the executioner, but as you can see, he only hit hit him once. And uh, now the executioner is just going to work on that bowler. He's gonna he's gonna fireball a bowler, and um, we're gonna put a wizard down to take out this executioner because we're not doing too well. So I'm gonna put my tombstone down again. He's got his skeleton army for my wizard, probably a, a great counter because obviously he's used three elixir on, we use for four out of five, and it's not bad, not bad at all. So he still doesn't know we have a free spell because the free spell could be the game changer in these sort of matches. As you can see, he's got loads of troops coming towards us. We're gonna freeze everything. Unfortunately, the placement of the bowler was terrible, and um, that sort of um, messed us up a little bit because obviously we, we didn't take him out uh, correctly. Uh, but luckily the wizard and the bowler focused on the electro wizard and the uh, Executioner and we managed to take it out nice and easily. We got his we got our uh, Ice golem put down as well, and he's got his executioner. We got we, we put a graveyard down and we're gonna freeze everything I think yeah, we freeze everything there and eight seconds to go I don't see him making it to our tower. He's gonna fire a wall tower. I think and uh, That's gonna be game. I think that's great played by well really well played by us and uh, this Bowler, a graveyard free spell deck has been around before, but I sort of, uh, you know, I've put a wizard in there. For, I think it was a mega minion in there, uh, and so I swapped some cards around. And as you can see, I've played four ma four matches with it so far, and um, it's you know I've lost the first one, sort of trying it out. I lost against a royal giant elite barbarian deck, and that was tough. That was really tough, I think, and. Um, we lost at 3-1, and then we won three battles, all 1-0, all closed battles, and it's just, you know, it's just interesting to see how it works, so, I think we need to, I could upgrade some of these cards, or pretty much all of them, but the thing is, I don't want to, because I'm, I'm, I'm saving up for my level 13 minions, which is 100, 100k, and that's a lot, but let's open up this, free, uh, this silver chest, and go to a battle, and see how it works out. So uh, hopefully it works out on in the live battle as well, because I don't want to be saying, oh yeah, this works, and then again, it doesn't when it actually comes to into practice. So the skeleton should take out the princess. Unfortunately, he's gonna he's gonna log log my uh, skeletons, and we got a bowler uh, archer's push. Uh, he just rocketed that. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see. I see how it is. So he's he's got a rocket. He has a princess. He has a log. Um, I think that's the the only direct damage he has. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my wizard at the back. Put my ice golem, and we need to get ready with uh, our graveyard spell push because it's time. 
That, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect for us. Uh, ice Golem for these minions. Um, hopefully, the Ice Golem is going to survive. There we go. Nice. The Ice Golem survived. And uh, I'm going to put my Tombstone down. And then we're going to get ready with our Graveyard Spell to do some work. Uh, hopefully, do some work anyway. So, there we go. Uh, the Graveyard Spell is on the tower. And there he's... That's going to do damage. Uh, I'm going to zap all of that because why not? And there's, there's five or six skeletons on that tower. And uh, we managed to pull in front right now, which is perfect. Um, he does have an Inferno Tower, which might be a struggle to deal with. But we'll, we'll think of something, right? We'll, we'll manage to think of something. We still ha hasn't seen, we haven't seen a lot of his cards, which is um, annoying. But, you know, we have to do something, right? So Ice Golem. Uh, for these minions should be just fine and then we need some archers for these minions as well because the tower is not going to be just enough to take it out and he's done a lot of uh, damage there he's going to rocket it um, he's going to hit my bowler that's okay uh, we have some archers coming towards us he's going to take out the archers with the log and then again look our graveyard spell is just on the tower we're going to zap the his, his skeleton army and um you know, his tower is down to 543, 42. So it's not that bad. Um, wizard and a bowler together. Oh, he, he's going to manage to get one more shot. Uh, I'm going to freeze that because, you know, I, I don't want to mess with that Inferno Tower. Uh, the bowler and the wizard should take out all of that, uh, which is great, which is perfect. And then we're going to put the Ice Golem to distract these minions. Um, even though that wasn't really needed, if you know what I mean. Archers... Um, Ah, I'm gonna throw it straight onto the um, onto the log, and we're struggling, guys. We are, we don't have any direct damage uh, spell, uh, which is a shame. And now we need to do something. We need we need we need a graveyard spell again, um, which is just not gonna be enough. Um, he's gonna say thanks, and that's gonna be game over. Uh, unfortunately, done. So we lost the first battle, but I think we. We, we're nearly there, we're sort of, I'm trying to figure out a deck uh, that's going to be a new sort of meta because it's just, you know, it's just so annoying to be facing the Executioner and the Le Electro Wizard which is which I don't have. So I'm going to swap up the Zap, um, no I can't swap the Zap, I can't do that. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is, I might even, I might swap the, uh, the Tombstone for the Furnace uh, just because why not. Um, the furnace does a, a lot dam a lot of damage if left unopened, and he has to be countered, sort of thing. And the skeletons can be just dealt with the tower all the time, uh, which is you know easy to deal with. So let's go into another battle. Uh, so he's got his um, minions and a, a, and a hog rider. We're gonna put a bowler down and our uh, ice golem. The ice golem should help out the minions with his splash death damage. Uh, unfortunately, minions are still doing a lot of damage. But okay, we're going to put a furnace down, that's okay. And then we're going to put a graveyard in a minute, I think. Yeah, let's put a graveyard spell down, there we go. Nice. Uh, we got our, he has a lumberjack that's going to cause a ton of work to that uh, graveyard. And to be honest, he's going to counter really, really well, uh, which is a shame. Uh, there we go, we got one fire spirit dead, uh, well, taking out the barbarian. And uh, again, we're struggling. We're struggling to do anything um, to this to this de to Denson. So I'm gonna put my bowler at the back. He's got his uh, hog rider ready. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we need a bowler. We need our wizard, and that's gonna do a should be just fine to take him out uh, without getting any hits on the tower, which is perfect. I'm gonna put my ice golem down. See what he does now. Um, I, I want to freeze everything, but I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave it as it is then. Archers and a furnace, come on. Should take out all of these uh, nicely. There we go, nicely taken out, and we're good. We managed to, like, sort of counter his push nice and easily. Uh, his spear goblins will be taken out by our archer and one of the furnace, uh, or one of the fire spirits, and we're good, we're good to go. So I'm gonna put the bowler again. Um, should we, will that be enough? That should be enough to take him out nicely. There we go. Good. Um, I need to wait. There we go. Double licks of time. And um, I'm going to put my wizard down. I'm going to put my ice golem down. And I'm, I'm going to put the graveyard spell down now. 
just because you know we need it. We need it. To, we need to do something. He's gonna freeze that. We're gonna we're gonna freeze his um, lumberjack. And look at this. We're gonna take out his tower just like that. We're gonna put another bowler down, and uh, we're in the money, guys. We're killing it so far. There's two bowlers. There's a there's a wizard, and we're gonna take out these barbarians just like they're not there. Um, so he okay. I'm gonna put my furnace down for this hog rider. And we need some archers uh, to do some work as well. The wizard's going to take out the fifth, uh, spear goblins. And that's going to be game. Well, not game, but that's going to be like money for us, right? Uh, that's going to help us out a lot. I'm going to zap those minions as well. Uh, we're going to put the bowler down and for these barbarians. And we need a furnace. Come on, quick, 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 quick. There we go. We'll put the furnace down for the hog rider. And we're going to take the win home just like that. Um, yeah, like I said, this deck does work. And uh, it's just... Getting to use, guess getting to know this deck, and uh, I just think this is one of the best, the best counters for elite barbarians because obviously you have the bowler, wizard, furnace, ice golem. There's a lot of there's three good countering units for elite barbarians. There's a good counter for the executioner, just because the bowler is just could be a, a really good tank for the executioner, and the and the, and the wizard wizard can do just a ton of damage if executioner is not focusing on the wizard we just you just need to make sure that um but yeah that's just my opinion again uh if you think that if you if you know any other counters have to counter executioner uh let me know let me know in the comment section below and um, i will try them out because i'm really struggling guys uh th that executioner is just killing me so i'm gonna put my bowler for his ice wizard and then we're gonna we're gonna um put a Defensive graveyard, uh, which is should be just fine, I think. Uh, well, hopefully. And then, um, come on, come on, to our take out these that that musketeer. There we go, nice. We took it out nicely. We need to get rid of the zap. Uh, I'm gonna zap these uh, elite barbarians. Uh, the, the wizard is gonna pretty much take him out. Uh, furnace. There we go, nice. So we would would be nice to have some archers on this hog rider, but that's perfect. We took out the Hog Rider, we took out the Elite Barbarians without getting any hits on the tower. Like I said, the Elite, the Elite Barbarians are not that good when you have the Bowler, when you, when you have the Wizard. The Wizard is like the best counter for the Elite Barbarians. Because uh, he does a, so much damage, he's incredible. So, okay, we got a Bowler. Again, we're just going to we're just gonna tr try and do the same thing. Maybe this time I might put the, the Ice Golem for the Knight uh, to sort of uh, distract him this way. And then we put a wizard down for this knight and for the musketeer and some archers. Come on, there we go. Uh, that, we're gonna take out this uh, musketeer nice and easily, and we're good. Uh, probably not the best because obviously he's gonna use his elite barbarians in a minute, um, and we need to get get rid of our bowler. There we go. Furnace down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna. Oh, great zap by my by my man Sandra Khan. Uh, so I'm gonna. I need my ice golem to sort of help out with uh, these elite barbarians, and we we've got one elite barbarian on the tower, which is gonna get two hits, which is okay, but not the best. Bowler for this hog rider. Uh, come on, do some work. Do some work. Um. Okay, that's not the best. The hog rider managed to get two hits hits on the tower. Uh, we need the wizard. We need the furnace. And we need to get ready with our. Freeze spell, I think. I'm gonna freeze that, uh, just because. Well, we need to try and get rid of it. Uh, Ice golem, bowler. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do some work, do some work, bowler. We have two musketeers on that under on the, on the up, up there, and that's gonna be trouble. Uh, okay, we managed to take it out nice and easily, to be honest. Uh, he's doing work to our tower though, because um, it's just playing really well, to be honest. So we got our, our ice golem. We have some furnaces. We we need a graveyard spell in there right now, as soon as we can. The bowler is gonna push the hog rider away from into the tower actually, and the hog rider is actually nearly managed to get a one shot on the tower, which is would would have been um, de devastating and would have lost us a game. But you know he's got his log uh, ready. Uh, hopefully we can take it out. There we go. Come on, no the. The bowler pushed the elite barbarian into our tower, and we managed to lose the game. Wow, that's a tough. That's a tough cookie, man. That's a tough cookie. That was a tough game. 
Now, okay, so we could change this deck a little bit. We could uh, change the archers for the skeleton army. I think that could, that could uh, work quite well. Uh, although the archers was quite, they, they were quite a big counter for like uh, the graveyard spells and stuff. As you can see, I'm at 3,800. 3, I'm not doing too well at the moment. Like I said, I'm in a big slump right now and it's just so tough to get out of it for some reason. But yeah, we're playing against an Asian guy, he's a level 11. He's got his um, but, uh, golem down, put down at the back. We're going to put a bowler down because they're pretty much the same speed and they should meet at the bridge. Uh, which is going to help us out to counter this golem. He's got, he's probably has his executioner as well. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Ice golem just to sort of uh, take out these uh, minions which, well, help him out really. Um, come on wizard, please focus on the minions by any chance. No? Okay, don't do it then. I'm gonna zap nothing because I didn't didn't expect the furnace to actually take out these minions, which is a shame. But you know we managed to counter pretty well, but we we've got no counter push with that, uh, which is annoying. So we've got baby dragon on a tower, full health baby dragon. That's gonna do work, and we need to do we need to think of something. Come on, okay. So he's gonna log that, which is gonna be perfect for us because we got our, our skeleton army up and ready, and we can uh, do some some sort of uh, work. I'm going to put my Ice Golem down, and we need to get ready Graveyard Freeze, uh, because I feel like this could be a nice little push. So, uh, as soon as he focuses on our, there we go, Ice Golem focused, and then we're going to put a Graveyard Spell. Um, he's got his Inferno Dragon, I'm going to freeze that, and that his tower is going to be down to nothing. Uh, I'm going to put my Skeleton Army down on this uh, Golem. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. Nice, nice, take it out. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, uh, he has a big push coming towards us. That's going to be game, guys. Right. I'm really struggling. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, guys, um, I, nothing's working for me right now. Uh, I'm going to put my Ice Golem down. Uh, we got Wizard. We have an Ice Golem. And we're going to put a Graveyard Spell down. On, on this tower, not sure how it's going to work, because obviously, um, it's just not working. <laughs> I'm going to freeze all of that, and hopefully take it out. Come on, come on, come on, take it out. Nice, finally, we took out a tower, we're going to take this crown chest, and, uh, you know, pff, might finish it there. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, there we go, we've got Bolo on the right hand side. Uh, he's got his golem down, that's okay. Uh, I've, I've put my wizard just because I'm wasting, I'm so, sort of, I don't want to waste any more elixir. Uh, so we're going to put a furnace down for this golem. He's going to fireball our wizard, which is okay. Uh, we need a bowler down for to help, to help out. And uh, we need the, our skeleton army to sort of dis get d distract all the baby dragons and the inferno dragon. Uh, we have a lot of barbarians in our base. Uh, which is just going to die just like that, to be honest. He's going to take out our, our wizard with the fireball. And he's just not going to get to our tower. Um, I'm not going to let him win this game just like that. So, there we go. We're going to put a bowler down. He's got his golem. And this could be the push that we can, uh, you know, try and win the, the game with. So, as soon as that, that tower focuses on our... On our bowler, we're gonna put the skeleton army in. We're gonna put graveyard spell, and we're gonna freeze everything. And probably not the best freeze because we could have uh, waited for the minions. Now that's 23 seconds into well, we got left in the game. And uh, I'm gonna put the, another furnace down and another ice golem down. He's got two golems in our base. Uh, this could be game for him. Uh, he could win this game. But I'm gonna freeze everything in a minute, and um, that should keep hold of him. For another couple of seconds uh, to sort of uh, protect, prevent him from actually winning the game. <laughs> tough win, guys. Well, tough, tough video, guys. Like, uh, like I said, I've been struggling match actually winning to get some games. I'm at 3,800, and let's open up this crown chest. Maybe we can get a nice epic four gems. Wow, no epics. We got we got eight dark goblins, which is not bad at all. And yeah, if you want to try out this deck, it's not a bad deck. Uh, bowler. Furnace, Bowler, Zap, Freeze, Wizard, Graveyard, Ice Golem, and the Skeleton Army, and the Scar Army. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you like this video, please leave a like, 
And if you're new around here, smash that subscribe button, and you might, you might, you know, um, you you will help me out quite a lot. And um, yeah, hopefully we can go back to winning ways in the next video, and that that will happen tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, it's been your boy PNT Gaming, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.